What's up? This is Master Kenaichu Kim, and this is Body CEO. The kingdom is big business. First of all, we're gonna be bold. We're gonna tell you who God is or what God is. Put it simple. A lot of people will lead you into a talk and say, hey, listen, listen to me. Let me use a bunch of crazy words to mesmerize your mind. Then at the end, tell you what. I was trying to say, but I'm going to be bold and let's let you know who and what God is. God is simply energy, the life force. That's what God is. Now, before you start to kiss your teeth and bite your eyes and talk shit, listen to what I have to say. Basic knowledge is that all things are created out of energy. The food that you eat before it existed. It was once vapor or energy. Now energy has different forms and frequency and vibration. So before you can get an apple, the vibrations of the sun must be captured by a plant, which is energy, must be absorbed, water must be absorbed from the ground, which is energy, and the minerals must be absorbed by the plant, which is energy. And when that plant is able to grow and maintain itself with the energy, at a certain level is able to produce fruit. Ye shall know them by their fruits. And that's why we have an apple or any other fruit or vegetable or plant that exists or any animal. Now, the plants and animals were made for us human beings. Because we are a representation of the living force. Now, to understand what God and who God is, we must understand that without the breath, there is no life. All living things breathe. Plants breathe. Human beings breathe. Animals breathe. Insects breathe. Bugs, which are insects, have sex, which aka means breathe, to create offspring. So God is simply energy. Energy is intelligent. It is all knowing. Why? Because everything knows energy. That's why it is all knowing. All powerful is the description we use for God because it is the true source. Everything is created out of the basic energy. Rain, water is energy. Particles, hydrogen, oxygen. Albert Einstein said, E equals MC square. So you notice that the universe is just simply energy vibrating at different frequencies. We can soften frequencies and particles. We can soften particles by changing the vibrational frequency. Example, get a PVC pipe. It is solid and it's firm. Put it over heat. You can bend it like rubber. And then it'll heat back up and it'll be hard and firm again. That's a manipulation of the energy. And what is fire? Energy. Fire is the most important thing that we have on this planet. Combustion is the process which allows us to power our motor vehicles. We have combustion within ourselves through digestion, which is the burning of food. That's why they say when you exercise, you're burning calories. So as above, so below. Now, I don't want to mesmerize you with all these terms, but you must understand that God is simply energy. Energy has integrity. Energy has principle. Take, for instance, the electricity within your house, the current, the, the electricity is able to travel through conductors. When the electricity can travel properly, you have a good circulation or you have current and therefore you can power all your utensils. The energy knows all the electronics, all living things, just as our body is. Our body is an electrical body. Have you ever heard of Dr. Sebi? Dr. Sebi is a man who is known for curing so-called incurable diseases. He is able to restore the body to its integrity by introducing foods that power the body at its utmost. When your body is running on a high voltage current, you can have no disease, no illness, no pains or aches, no disformity. When there's lack in the, the running of the bioelectricity, then your body will fail. And that is why the Bible exists. The New Testament, this is what 
Jesus or Yeshua was talking about. He was not talking about a place that is far away from yourself, the kingdom of heaven. He was talking about your being, your entire body, mind, and energy. Your body, mind, and energy is powered by the ultimate force, which is the energy of the universe. In Chinese folklore or in Chinese culture, it is said that there exist two polarities, be it yin and yang. Now, within our existence in reality, yang is the power, positive energy that is within the particles of the air. When you inhale, you are absorbing yang energy, the positive ions of the air, which is transferred through the sun. The earth is said to be the yin energy, the cold dampness, the ground. In order for your, your household products to work, you must have both positive and negative. In order for your car to work, you must have both positive and negative polarity. This is the yin and yang, the male and female polarities. That is how a baby comes into inception, by the male and female polarities. Yin and yang, the two energy currents, the pingla and, and the ida. All these things are throughout every last religion, through every last persuasion, you need the yin and the yang. So, God is the positive and negative energy. Now, a lot of people think that God is just a male figure with a blared in the sky. No, he's not. God is energy, vibration, ultimate intelligence. It's amazing how animals surpass us, even though they don't have technology. How is it that birds can know where to fly north, south, east, and west? Where to get food, they don't learn what to eat, how to eat. They know how to eat. Why? Because they are tapped into the energy. One small principle of why human beings are not tapped into the energy is simply because they wear rubber shoes. Rubber shoes are a insulator. Insulator block electricity or block the ground, which is your feet. That's why they call it ground, or your ground wire. And therefore, you cannot tap into the energy field of the world. So in order to be superbly healthy, you must be barefooted to contact the energy within the ground. Now, all of this may sound like, whoa, what the heck is this he talking about? The ground of energy? Yeah. Do you ever wonder why the people that we call delinquents, junces, beggars, seem to be so healthy even though they stay in the rain, they be bareback, they don't eat much, but they're alive? It's because they're bare feet. They're able to absorb the energy and therefore the energy is able to stabilize the system. So therefore, you must take the lessons from them and use it for your own. But I'm going to wrap it right now. This is Body CEO. Don't forget it. The kingdom is big business. Now, what is the kingdom? The kingdom is your entire being. You must make sure that the energy from the universe is coming into your existence so that you are able to stay strong and powerful and connected to God, which is the energy. You know, the Bible came out with the New Testament and Yeshua said, Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, and all shall be added unto you. A lot of people want riches, fame, wealth, love, romance, happiness. And what he simply said to you is, listen, in order for you to gain all those things, you must first look after yourself. You must first bring in the energy. You must first connect with the energy that you are, which is the God. Greater is he that is in me than he is in the world. I and my father are one. When thy eye becomes single, your whole body shall be filled with light. Just as the as Moses lifted up the serpent within the wilderness, so shall the Son of Man. In order to be born again, you must be born of water and fire, water and spirit, yin and yang, energy. That's why Yeshua could have healed, because he built the energy through the practices. Now, a lot of people wonder, how is it that he is able to do what he do? They say, wow, because he's the son of God. Aren't ye all sons of God? You can do as I can. Greater things ye shall do in my name. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one coming to the Father but by me. What is he saying? Do the practices that I do. Absorb the energy, and the energy will make you great. You shall become more of the Father, which is God. <laughs> Powerful stuff, eh? I know. And there's a lot more into the practice of Body CEO. What is Body CEO? Body CEO is simply the principles gathered from the four corners of the earth that are true factual principles that the world exists upon. Understanding the God force within yourself, 
learning how to use it effectively, and then teaching others to attain one is with the God Force. It all starts with the breath. You can heal, you can have the best things in life, you can have the ultimate power, but you must first understand yourself. Seek ye first. A lot of people misunderstood that term. They think, seek ye first, the king of heaven, all should be under you. They look up and, oh, I want to go to heaven. Heaven is here. Heaven is now. Your body and mind and energy is the most powerful conductor of the universal energy. Seek ye first, karma. You speak too fast. Seek ye first. Look after you first. Make sure you understand who you are and what you are. First, you are the kingdom of heaven. Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all shall be added unto you. Once you understand the principle of energy, how it works in your body, how to gain more of it, then you can apply the principle in business, life and relationships, and you'll flourish. You'll be perfect as your father in heaven is perfect. The energy is perfect. Nature is perfect. Learn to work with nature, which is the Tahoe, the way, the natural order of things. And you shall have your changes. I ching. Changes. The book of changes. Combine the elements that are like within all religions. In all persuasions, find the underlying principle and you'll find God. The bioelectricity, the chi, the prana, the life force. So, you want to know more about these things? I'm going to be releasing one video every week on Body CEO. The kingdom is big business. The website is going to be up shortly. The program is going to be available so you can understand how to build this energy so that this, your body can be run at a higher level for high performance and ultimately happiness. I will leave you with this last thing. What is happiness? A lot of people tend to look around and try to find it. They buy fancy cars, big houses, and they're still not happy. They're empty inside. You know, ever realize they say they're empty. Why are they empty? They are empty because they lack the force. The force is not powerful enough to run your body properly. So therefore, they say build a connection with God. You do it through gathering energy. And we will talk more about this in the next videos. So stay tuned, subscribe to my channel for the most powerful knowledge where I draw from the four corners of the earth. I'm gonna draw, I can feel the energy right now, pulse into my body. I'm gonna draw wisdom from all, from the, from the cartoons, the anime, the Bible, all the information, I'm gonna show you it in plain sight. That is all around you, all the commercials and the Ten Commandments. Why are they important? Why? It's not just because you're afraid to go to hell. It's because your energy, integrity, is based upon these principles. Why is it good to have a good heart? Why is it good to be humble? Why is it good to be confident? Because the energy operates of certain principles, and when you Stop these principles. Everything will work out for you. And we are Master Kenetri Kemp. Stay tuned. Subscribe. <laughs>